Welcome everyone to Inside Gyros, Inside Home with this quarantine and the coronavirus. Um, we're just following all the indications from the Polish government, so we're at home. And we will take this opportunity to talk about the fundamental design criteria of the AG915 based on the Polish platform. We divide all the concepts in three basic models, that is stability, that is uh, comfort, and comfort is, is really attached to safety, and the power, with the power plan with the Rotax 915. So, welcome again, thanks for watching, um, more machines coming, more uh, demo flights, if you want to uh, book your demo, just check at the end of the video all the information for uh, the um, demos and, and, the, and all our network in the United States. So. Thanks for watching and welcome again to Inside Gyros, Inside Home on the fundamental design criteria of the AG950. All right, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit uh, about the stability. In the history of the gyroplane at the beginning of the gyroplane, um, the engine was in the front and it was a little bit of, of pitch instability that was changed when they put the engine in the back and they, all the, the flow from the engine goes directly to the, to the tail. So that's because of the, the old gyro planes, the, the tail was an, is, is in a T, it's not in a T, it's in a cross. So it will make like, like the narrow. Um, the modern gyro planes, they have the, um, the, 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 the vertical stabilizer and they, in some of the models, they still you have some yaw issues and, it, and you see that you are like moving around a little bit. But in, the, in our design, in the, in the AG915 design, the fact that we have the dual rotor, rotor and the horizontal stabilizer that is directly to the thrust line, that makes the whole difference in, in, in many axes. First of all, we are stable on the pitch. We are really stable on the pitch, pitch regardless of the power settings. And as you saw in the other videos, when we, when we turn and we put the machine on the aircraft in some attitude, the machine stays. So we have this balance of high maneuverability and also high stability. That is not, uh, it's, 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 it's difficult to get that balance. And the dual rotor, the dual rotor of the, of the AG915 and the Polish platform actually improve one of the um, gyroplane superpowers that is to turn in the yaw axe, in, 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 the, in the vertical axe, you can turn around like this. You can turn because we're holding, we're holding on the umbrella so you can turn. If having a lot of authority on the rotors actually give you this superpower. So when you have the, the dual rotor, and you have a, a very stable, you know, a platform on the pitch and on the yaw, that's because you can perform such as an amazing maneuvers with this machine. So the dual boom is, is one of the main core that, that we have, the dual rotors. The fact that the horizontal stabilizer is right in the, in the truss line that make the whole difference. That's because some other machines don't have, you know, so much authority on the rotor or they have to put longer rotors to be able to, you know, to, to have, to increase that super power. Um, the equilibrium and the CG, when you are, when, 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 when the CG of the aircraft is well balanced, even in, on the ground, as you see in some of the pictures, uh, or the machine can be in the ground, in the tail, or in the nose. So that, that tells you a lot that the, the weight is well distributed when you are in the air, you know, the, the input on the, on the control to maintain the pitch up or pitch down is really low, it's really minimum. That's because we, we use less trim, only, we use only two trims, only pitch up and, and, uh, and bank left. So stability and the design of the tail of the AG915 is one of the main cores and is one of the fundamental designs that we, are, that we promote and we understand because it actually increases all the gyroplane superpowers. The second part of the fundamental design criteria is comfort and safety and this is completely related to the cabin. 
The cabin space and the ergonomics on the cabin is really important. Distractions when you are when you are not comfortable can interfere with your piloting and with the safety of the aircraft. This is actually well known when, when you design an aircraft. You have to be comfortable, everything has to be reachable, and there's many factors inside, even the outside and the, and the elements, they, they, they should be protected. So distractions and fatigue, when, you, when, when some of the machines you cannot move forward, the, 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 um, the, the chair, so they, they can just bend like this, the, the, the back part of the chair, and after a couple, like, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes flying, when, when you're not comfortable, the fatigue can increase uh, the risk of some um, safety issue. So ergonomics are really important. The fact that we have a big cabin, that you're comfortable, that you have space to get everything. Even now you have the cup holder, you can put some water, you, can, uh, you have access to navigation. One of the things, one of the small details that I really like about the AG915 on the Polish platform, is the access that you have from some cargo staff that's really easy access that you have if you put something in your bag that you forgot to put it out or you want to take some water or you want to take a map or uh, I don't know some GPS or whatever you have in, in, in the bag <clears throat> you, you it's, it's easy to reach so you are not losing focus on the piloting and you're not getting crazy trying to get something so that's, that's a small detail that you should consider all the time when you, when you fly and even if you, when you're a sport pilot and you don't have a lot of experience, these distractions can take you to a really bad situation. So you have to be very, very careful with that. And, and we are in this, uh, the, the reason that I, that I, that I pointed this, this, this topic is this, the design of the cabin, the, the fact that it's wider, the fact you're not on top of each other, the fact that you can reach and both person can reach the panel and everything, you don't have the, the, the throttle in, inside of the, 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 the two the legs, etc. that actually improve a lot of your, your piloting. The protection of the elements is another point. The, um, when you're in an inside cockpit, I know I'm a, I'm a motorbike guy, I love the wind, I love to be outside, the, the tandems, the open cockpit are amazing, I love it, I really like it, I learn in one of those. But sometimes when you encounter a little bit of rain, some heavy winds, temperature, low temperatures, that distractions can affect your piloting. Um, if, you need to, if you don't have a lot of experience on, 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 on flying and then you have something in your helmet or the helmet is not really good or, uh, or there is sand around or it start raining and you start feeling uncomfortable, your papers and things, um, that can interfere with your piloting safety. That's, that's, that's really, really important. And visibility. Obstructions on the cabin when you're flying VFR that they're not really good. When, you, when you're in a traffic, in a heavy traffic area, when you're flying in, in the United States, you normally share the, the, um, the, the, the areas, the, the airports, we, with fly school, so not, sometimes students are getting in and out different altitudes. If you have obstruction that you have to move your head and, then, and there's things blocking, well, that can affect also the, um, the features that we have in the, in the nose windows when you do takeoff and you start climbing and, and, and all the panel, if you have a big panel in front of you, you just look in the panel, you just look in the, 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 the sky. So there you're, you're losing a lot of picture, a lot of area that you're actually going through at high speed and you're not watching where you're going. So, so the, the fact that we have the, the, the nose windows, it helps a lot. Also, if you lose the engine after takeoff or if you lose the engine and you can see where you can dive and, and give you a lot of resources, give you a lot of you know, ways to go, where to go that you're actually watching. So cabin space, ergonomics, being comfortable, being protected on the outside environment, the, the avoiding distractions, and the fact that you have great visibility is, is again part of the fundamental design criteria of the AG915. So, we already have stability, talking about the tail, comfort that is attached to safety, talking about the cabin, the roll cage that I, I, I forgot to put in, in that part. And the roll cage, in case you roll, you're really protected in this kind of monocoque cabin. <coughs> Sorry. And um, power. Let's talk about the power. The, the Rotax 915. 
we're really, really happy with the Rotax 915. We, we kind of remove the headaches of the carburetors. We all know about the carburetors problem. We remove the problem of settings when the temperature and the pressure change. Now you can reach altitudes and you can, for example, you're flying in Utah on the Rockies. You can climb without having issues with pressure, with temperatures. Uh, the computer do everything. And also the fact that these engines are off the shelf, so you just take it from the from Rotax and you just mount it. That is an amazing thing that we, we, we don't have to do upper settings. Uh, warranties is, is around the world. Our engines are from the United States. We're trying to standardize it with the, with the American system, with the Imperial system. We still have everything in metric, but we are working to, to, to get it more standard for the United States so you don't have issues if you want to get some parts on the on the hardware store, everything should be easy to, to, to for you. But the, the main point of Air Gyro, one of the philosophies of Air Gyro, is removing the headaches, like the headache of, of dealing with the with Europe and sending your money somewhere else. And, and, and then if you have an issue or they don't comply or they don't get the deadlines, you will have an issue because you cannot sue, you cannot talk to a lawyer, it will be impossible. So that's because we keep everything in the United States. So everything, your, your money, your investment, and, and all the service and support will be secure in the United States, where you, where you are. So again, let's, uh, let's go back to the engine, don't, don't, don't go around. So the, the fact that it's controlled by computer, the extra punch, the extra power is really, really good. Uh, when you're flying low or when you are in a cannon and then there is some uh, up, uh, downdraft and updraft and turbulence, and you, you need this extra power to go out, uh, actually helps a lot. I um, I really like that. The design of the AG915, the Polish platform, is bulky. We have a big cabin. We have the biggest cabin right now, the, the more comfortable and, and more roomy cabin in, in, in right now in the in the market, let's say. And we need power. We need power because in the angles, when you when you have angles of attack, the fact that is the, the egg shape of is, is is bigger, so we need a lot of airflow. So as much as power is more air going to the, to the to the propeller, so that helps a lot uh, comparing to the older uh, versions and to the 912 and then and then and the 914 en engines that we used to have. That they, this this small lack of power that changed the whole uh, equation on and, uh, aerodynamics and the power. And if you need that extra punch. There is a small lack of, of, of power. Of course, everything is in computer, but this is, is minimal. It's, it's minimal. It's not a problem. We, we don't, this is not a competition. You, you need to be comfortable. When you fly these machines again, you, you should be comfortable. You should be having fun. You really have to enjoy it. Uh, the headaches, the distractions should be avoided as much as you can. So that's because the, 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 the criteria that we're using, the, all these elements to, to, to make these gyroplanes are based on that, on, on people like me that we are, we are, we are learning on this. I, I have 10 years in gyroplanes, a little bit more, and 20 years in, in, in aviation. And when you walk the walk, when you, when you understand, when you start flying a different aircraft, you, you learn about how to remove these things and how well, this is not good, this is bad, this, this is better, we can improve it. So this is what we're doing. And 15 years of air gyro providing gyroplanes is, 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 this is the main core of the company. Just protect the American market with an American company, provide the best gyroplane and the best features to remove all these little things that cannot let you enjoy your machine and, and give you as much information as I can. That's, that's what I want. That's, that's what I do now from home, um, on this, um, a quarantine. I hope everybody is, is doing the same. Just be careful if you're flying. Just clean your helmet. They remove the doors if you're flying with someone else. So it's better to stay at home. Um, I hope everything did happen soon. Uh, finish soon. Wash your hands. Thanks for watching. At the end of the video, more information about our demos. In in uh, there's machines coming at the end of this month. They're on the way to more machines uh, from um, uh, to Arizona and to Texas. So thanks for watching. Uh, send us an email. Send us all the questions, and I will try to keep doing these videos from home. Meanwhile, the quarantine and all these things pass. Bye, guys. Thank you.